Come on, 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 come on. Hello everyone, I'm the Mole Man Driver. You will be running ScotRail's first replacement service today in the form of a Class 68. Start here at Edinburgh at the controls of an express service to Glasgow. Open the doors and allow passengers to board here before departing. Welcome back to Edinburgh to Glasgow aboard the beautiful Class 68. And Dovetail very kindly sent this one over for me to take a look at and share with you guys. I was such a happy Mole Man. Look at this beautiful beast. Let's get the lights on. This thing has been in development for months. Hello, train. They first announced it at like the beginning of 2016, around that sort of time, and it's now it's it's now July, and we finally have a 68. I'm so happy. I am so happy. It's just it looks the, the detail on it is absolutely incredible. If we just get a look, let me look at this sort of detail up here. Look, look at this. You've got all the different brake pipes and stuff. It's just it's one of the best looking trains I've seen. Mole main line in this would be amazing, that's all I'm saying. Right, let's get... Oh, God! Right, windscreen wipers. That's good, yep. Forwards. Lovely stuff. This is a very modern train. Lots of interesting features in here. Uh, lots of interesting features indeed, including spe including this one here, which is train length, which is interesting. It's time for us to go. Let's get the brakes off. Train length is interesting. It means I could potentially drive without the HUD, but I won't be doing that, because I don't know where any of the stations are. Uh, we've got to stop at Haymarket in about a mile, so that's fun. We're on our way! Look at this train. Authentic sounds as well, which is very nice. And beautiful Mark II coaches in ScotRail livery. Never been to Scotland. I really should because I want to. I want to be behind a ScotRail 68, and I want to drive. I want. I just want to be on their network. It's very nice. It's a very nice countryside as well. Um, all right, it's powered down. Let's be careful. That windscreen wiper's on a little bit too fast for my liking. Let's try and put it onto in slower, shall we? There we go. We can have a slower setting on it if we want to. Very, very nice. Uh, I've also got, what else we got in here? Because they did a 360 shot on like Facebook and stuff of this cab. So um, looking around that was pretty fun. So we should have some dimmer lights. Yeah, we've got some desk lights. There we go. So we can see our desk. Uh, instrument lights, they'll be useful. There we go. We've got digital readout of the speed there. So I can see exactly what I'm doing. I can see that's a red light. That's def oh no, not already. Okay, well that's what happens when you don't pay attention, isn't it? This it is what happens indeed. Fantastic. Let's try that one again, shall we? Let's try that again, shall we? I'm terrible! I'm ter- Why do I even bother doing this? I have no idea. Right, brakes off. Well, no, brakes on a little bit. We're still at a stop here. That's it. I've, I've seen people say the brakes aren't very good. I mean, obviously, I completely just missed my um, my point there, so that, was, that, was, that wasn't my fault. Is that intermittent? What setting are they on? We've got this to- see. I'll show that in a minute. Um, I just want to look at these. What have we got? Uh, wipers. Put them on one. That's it. Nice and slow. It's raining heavy, but, you know, it's because it's Scotland and stuff, isn't it? Um, yeah, so what we've learnt there is I'm terrible because I forgot that was yellow because I was too busy talking about the train and the cab and stuff and showing off the desk lights, which is very nice, and instrument lights as standard. But it's, there's there's some interesting stuff in here. Um, right, so, yes, let's have a look at... Let's turn ET, is ETS on? No, let's turn ETS on. That's a, that's a, it says on the top there, electric train supply gives the coaches all that it needs, which is very nice, um, which is very nice indeed. Uh, right, so I was going to show you this. this just, I've already got to move. I've opened the doors yet? No. Let's do that. <laughs> this is, it's not going well. Not going well. Right, so this is the, um, the driving display unit, I think that's what it's called. And it's got different screens on it, so we can see all different stuff about our train, which is fun. So you can see the parking brake is released. The brake cylinder is applied. That's that one over there, um, which is, is interesting. This, and I believe this which screen is it? This one. I think it might actually track this. Like, so as you drive, the longer you drive it and train sim, I've got a feeling that I might actually do something. I'm already losing score because I let I open the doors late. Today's not going to go well. It's just it's not going to happen today. Today's just not going to happen. I, I hope you're prepared for that. I hope let's turn that off. I hope you're prepared for today just to not happen because it's just going to not it's just going to not happen. Um, I'm just <laughs> I just I love the six days. I'm too I'm too I've been so hyped for this. Uh, sort of every time, every time there's an article out, or I show a picture, I was like, "Oh, I want to drive that," and um, and now it's out. I can't drive it because I'm too excited by it. So that's fun. That's fun indeed. But yeah, authentic audio. I don't know if I've already said that, but um, we can listen to the engine rev up and stuff. And we have got a nice horn. If I just get back to the front here, um, there we go. Look at that, nice horn. Right. Okay. 
Let's keep the power nice and low because there is a red up here. So we keep. So the brakes are on. Yeah, I was talking about the brakes, wasn't I? Yeah, I was talking about the brakes. Now people said they weren't very good. And well, I, I, I don't know why people think that. I, I seem to. I've obviously I've driven this to do sound tests and stuff, and I haven't found it too bad. I haven't found it too bad. So that's um that's interesting. Right here we go. Let's just bring the speed off. See that it's just the same as the 66 brakes. You just choose exactly where you want it, and you can go up all the way up to th that three there before the emergency brakes kick in. I think. Let's release the brakes and just sort of roll as slow as we can. I'm assuming waiting for this 68 to get out of the way. This is a very fictional scenario um, because the five circle line isn't in Train Simulator, and that's where these run. So this is a fictional scenario. So I think there's more 68s than there are in the real world. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, just a bit too many brakes there. Right, that's it. Stop. Train, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Lovely. And now we wait. And now we wait. If we, li if we listen out here, though, now, with ETS turned on, which is supplying power to the coaches, it's very noisy back here. And now we have, um, there we go. Let's get going. 20 miles an hour. Because we have a nice signal weather feather there, which is very nice. Lovely stuff. And we're on our way. Yeah, that was, um, we'll just pretend that first bit never happened, eh? I'll edit that out. Right, okay, that's fantastic. Fantastic indeed. We've got down here. Um, what have we got? Oh, cap eating. I'll I'll take some cap eating. It's warm in the real world, so I'm going to put it on cool. There we go. Because it's warm in the real world. It's very warm indeed. <laughs> very very warm indeed. Right. Let's just try and actually get to Haymarket without any problems, shall we? That'd be good. The next signal. Was, so that was green. So hopefully we won't have any more problems. Hopefully we won't. This is the easiest scenario out of the three. This is a two, you know, two green thing. And so it sh we should be okay. But, you know, what, what's that proven so far? Absolutely nothing. I spat it on the first signal. One thing I do find interesting, I can isolate the AWS over here. Um, so it stops it going off when you go over ramps. But the problem when you do that is, is you, well, you, you, you can imagine the problem with that. You won't know if you're approaching something and then you just you just die horribly. But this, this, this train length button's pretty cool. So if we go past the signal here, or the 40, and I press it, it'll beep. I don't know if you can hear that beep or not, because uh, I'm talking and the game's obviously a lower volume than me. Um, but when the rear of the train go past the signal on the HUD there, it'll beep again, so you can, it's, you know, it's a, very, it's a very handy thing. Let's turn those wipers off. That's it. Very handy thing to have. They go just beeped again. So now, now I know that the back of the train's passed through. Very useful for freight trains. So if if a DRS livery ever comes to marketplace or um, a reskin, which it probably would have been by the time this video goes out, we all know what the community's like. They like to make reskins. So um, yes, it's um, it's useful for that because if you've got a really long freight train, you can tell when the back of it's gone through. That's a useful thing. I like that. I like that indeed. Right, so we're going to be at Haymarket around about on time, which is good, which is good. Going to idle the power there, because we don't, we don't go too fast. It's only a 40 limit, and we've got to stop, and we've got to stop indeed. Very nice cab, though. I do like it in there. And the lighting the lighting effect off of this is in particular as well is very nice. That's not even off yet. Let's turn that off. There we go. We don't need that on. Right, let's apply all the brakes, all the brakes. There we go. You see, I've held the brakes at nearly maximum. Hopefully we'll come to a stop. Let's get those wipers back on. There we go. It's using dynamic brakes at the same time as well. So that's fun. 20 miles an hour. 19, 18, 17. See, the brakes are fine. I don't see what people have got a problem with the brakes with. They're absolutely fine. As long as you know what you're doing. As long as you read the manual and know how to drive a modern train. The brakes are absolutely fine. I don't see why people have so much of a problem with them. Because we're here and we're on time. Even though we left late, we're on time. I think that is pretty good. There we go. Let's take a nice screenshot of us here at Haymarket. Yeah, you can tell this is fiction. <laughs> We're driving 68008, which is um, not. It's yeah, 68008. Is that the one that I? Because I did. I shot. I did a video recently, or not recently, like a few weeks ago, of me of a, of a 68 leaving Banbury because um, I got local hauled up to Banbury and it was awesome. Um, but yeah, was it? Was it 008? Okay, I'm going to look it up whilst we stopped here. This is professional. I'm going to be on my phone. Because I can't remember which one it was. And I must say, from watching that to listening to this, it's quite... It's You know, because this is... They, they recorded it from a Chilton logo, I think. Um, and it's... Uh, I think it said that in one of the articles. Because it was 68.15 or something like that. And Scott Rell only have 6 and 7. So that's fun. But yeah, it's um, it's good audio. It's, it's, very, it's very good audio as far as things go. So that's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. 
143. Definitely worth the wait. Let's put it that way. Right, brakes off. Let's check the signal. Signal's green. There we go. Okay, in restarting the scenario, the B keys decided not to work. It was working when I started recording. You heard it at the beginning of this video, and now it's not working. So that's weird. It was working, but now it's not. The main horn is, though. Very odd. Very odd. Right, here we go. Scott Rails. Scotland's Railway. It is indeed. Let's power up. Power up. I'm trying to check the video. I'm trying to check this what one I was on, but my phone's being really slow. Come on, internet. I'm not using too much of you. Just watch this train depart here. Scott Rail. There we go. Nice flashing blinking light there. Very nice. Right. Let's get in the front of here. There we go. Let's not jake this. Let's just full power it all the way up. It's full power all the way up indeed. Signals are looking good. Signals are looking good. Right, let's see what one I was... Because it was Avenger, but I can't remember what the number is. No, don't start playing one of my own videos. Oh, for God's sake. That probably sounded a bit weird. Um, I clicked on something wrong. I'm legitimately looking at my phone whilst driving a train now. Don't ever do this. Yeah, it was 6808. There we go. Uh, so this this technically should be... Whoa, that was noisy. This technically should be Avenger, but um, it's not because Scott Rowe don't have Avenger. This is just a fictional scenario, so that's fun. That's fun indeed. Just imagine Scott Rowe borrowed, um, borrowed number eight and renamed it Daring, because why not? Why not? There we go. And beep. It's a very modern sounding beep. You would have noticed that when I did the self-test sequence or if you've listened to it yourself, if you've, um, if you've got this. It's a very modern sounding beep. It's not your sort of standard bell and stuff, you know. It's very sort of electronic sounding, which is pretty cool. It's, it's, I like these trains that are sort of like, this is the modern age. Same reason why I like the Blue Electro Stars at Rochester. It's, you know, it's very sort of, this is tomorrow, you know. And this locomotive is definitely tomorrow. I mean, it's like, how many of them in service at the moment? 25 with another 7 on order. That's like, and they're for Transpennine services, but they're all owned by DR. Well, they're all owned by, um, was it Beacon, something like that, and then there's leased to DRS, who subleased them to Chilton, Scott Rail, and eventually Transpennine Express. It's all very complicated. Privatisation is very complicated. <laughs> Trains are owned by about three different people, so that's fun. Um, but yes, and it's cool, because then obviously from, from this train, we're also going to be getting the... Uh, am I not going to speed, am I? Oh, no, look at that. Uh, we're going to be getting the 88, which is essentially this... With a pantograph on top, which is awesome. Which is awesome. We haven't had a proper electro-diesel locomotive since the 73. Which they're still running about, but, you know, it's, it's a very unique style of loco. We don't have that many of them over here. We have the 71, which is an amazing Hornby model. I don't have it, but I want it. Um, it's just, yeah, I think it's electro-diesel. It's at least dual voltage um, sort of thing. But there we go. Yeah, electro-diesels are awesome, and the 88 will be one. And so imagine, imagine this with a pantograph and you just, you're looking at the future right there. You're looking at the future of locomotive traction and that's fun. I love the future of railways. It's like the 800, the 801, the 802, 8300, the new class 385 for Scott Rail. It all looks absolutely amazing. I just, I love the, I love the, the promising future. Yes, older trains are fantastic, but you've always got to look forward as well. You know, there's nothing wrong with looking forward as much as you look back. You know, it's just, it's just, I just like these modern trains. It's very fun. Let's go in here. Oh, look at this. Running sounds. What is this? There we go. Hello, persons. How are we doing today? We're all good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the, um, for the slight delay this morning. I forgot to open the doors, even though they've got handles on them. You can open them yourselves, but, you know, never mind. It's absolutely chucking it. This is just, this is typical British weather, isn't it? Absolutely chucking it down. Absolutely chucking it down. Um, there we go. Or we can stare at her face if we want to. We can stare at her face. Oh, hello. This is fully modelled in there. That's very nice. It's very nice indeed. Right. Now, we're going 99 miles an hour. Are we going to break the speed limit or are we actually going to be okay? Because this thing can pump out, you know, 160 kmh. Is that what we're doing right now? I don't think we can actually reach 100. Let's find out. Because we're really not accelerating anymore. Really not accelerating anymore. So, I think we might be okay, actually. We might be okay indeed. Headlight dimmer. Let's not play with the headlight dimmer. Um, can I play with the headlight dimmer? Oh, I can. I choose different headlight dims. Can I? Does it make any difference? I have absolutely no idea. Um, what else we got? We've got the driver safety device. That's deactivated by default. I can turn it on by pressing Control and D. There we go. DSD is now enabled. I'm going to turn it off because I like to drive my trains and not have problems. As, as I tend to frequently have. So there we go. Ding. Lovely. That's basically all the DSD is. Is are you alive? It's that thing. It's that down there, isn't it? Yeah, the DSD pedal. 
You just keep your foot on that and you have to, you know, if you don't push the controls for 60 seconds, you've got to lift your foot to tell the train, I'm still alive, don't you worry. There we go, there's a 90 limit coming up, I'll worry about that in a second. Uh, what have we got going on here? See, look, total kilometres, that seems to be going up. That wasn't 12 earlier. And average running speed is increasing. See, it's actually doing stuff and the time's right on it and it's got the engine temperature on there. And the, and the times, that's pre it's, pretty, it's pretty good. Seeing, seeing stuff like this, like, you know, this train's had a lot of effort put into it, by, obviously. Because it's, ta it's taken, it's been in development for ages, isn't it? First, I mean, the uh, first articles and screenshots we got were months ago. So glad to see it out, though. It's so cool. So cool. Right, let's just, um, that doesn't work. Well, not that we need it. We need to slow down. We need to slow down. Right, that's it. Let's get it into four. Let's just take that speed right off. Seven, it's 96, 95, 94. See, those brakes are fine. What's wrong with the brakes? Seriously, folks, what's wrong with the brakes? They're fine. I don't understand. I just think most people aren't driving it properly. I think that's what the problem is. Because the brakes are fine. They're absolutely fine. Right, let's, um, what else have we got going on here? The engine speed's going up um, naturally. There we go. Very nice. I think that's the temperature outside, 9.2. There, the actual engine temperature is 67.4 degrees Celsius. That's warmer than a PS4 exhaust. PS4 is about 50C. That's 67.4. Let's take a screenshot as we go over this viaduct that I've just noticed. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Gotta love me some UK like Vossler action. There we go. Lovely stuff. Goodbye, train. I've got a feeling. Let's just have a look back here. Very nice coaches. I do like the Mark IIs. Um, because this, 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 this is the only livery you get, but I'd like to think that one day we will get DRS and Chilton. Hopefully, we somewhere to run the Chilton one as well. Because there is, apart from a freeware route on UKTS, which involves about 6 million different freeware installs, which is why I haven't done it, because I don't want to have to install UKTS freeware library 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the f whatever, you know. I don't have to do that. That's just effort. Um, that's just, and you have to, I'd have to buy uh, Just Trains' is, um, what was it Newcastle to York Modern just just to run it so <laughs> so yeah that's that's why I haven't got that so there is no official route to run a Chilton livery on and I don't think Chilton let them anyway in this case I saw on Facebook it said licensing so ho but hopefully hopefully well um was it Facebook or Twitter? it might have been Twitter actually I don't know I don't know it's all these social medias and things but hopefully hopefully we'll get Chilton one day that would be good wouldn't it all the way up to, well, I don't know if it go to Birmingham or not, but Chilton would be fun. London Marylebone, or Marleybone, as I'll always call it, since I, have, since I was a child. Alright, let's break again. Let's, um, there we go. Nice old 80 coming up here. That's it. 83, 82, 80. I'm just a pro. I'm just, look at this. This is going so well. So very, very, very well. Right. There we go. Lovely. Very, very nice. Let's get those windscreen wipers back off. Which is we're in here. Oh, off. Off. That's just going faster. Right, okay, yeah, using the controls is a lot... This is a lot easier. There we go. Right, let's power back up. We've got to stop soon. Coming up to... I'm going to get this wrong. We're in Scotland. I'm going to get this wrong. Because that's Linlithgow. Or Gal. Linlithgow. But it's probably not because it's Scottish. So, um, I'm not saying that Scotland names are bad. I'm just saying I'm from the south and can't say a word of it. But to me, that's Linlithgow. But I'm pro I've probably just offended an entire nation. And I wouldn't be surprised if Scotland go for independence purely based on the fact that I said that wrong. <laughs> let's not get into politics. Right, okay. Let's just, let's just drive trains. Trains, locomotives, no politics. That's what we like. That's what we like here. So we like indeed. Power back up. Notch eight it. Notch eight. Yes. Got all the all the nice dings as well. The green lights, all very nice. Gotta love those green lights. They're always always a good sign, the green lights. Always fun indeed. Always fun. Um, but it should be yeah, so where whereabouts is Lingleth? It's just straight ahead. Yeah, so we've got Lingleth throw Polmont. Falkirk or Falp. Is it Falker? 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 I, fa fa I can't think of any other way to say that, but I'm probably getting it wrong. Uh, Croy and Queen Street. 33 miles away. That's fun. I've only ever done two videos on this route. One in the 66 and one in the 170 on the old laptop. That was that was an experience, that was. That was an experience indeed. I think it was the first hour-long video I ever did. Or it might have been, anyway. Or the first sort of lot... I didn't... It's the first video I didn't split up, I don't think. So that was an interesting experience. So, yeah, there we go. 
There we go indeed. I wonder when I did that. If I did if imagine if I uploaded this exactly one year to the day, that'd be terrifying. Nah, that's probably not a thing that happened. I'm I'm curious. I'm not gonna look at my phone again. That's a terrible idea. I do want to take a nice screenshot though, because we are going through the nice Scottish countryside. We are indeed. I need to drive this this train on many routes. It just it's that it's got that sort of charm to it, sort of that you know, West Highland Line. Yes, West Highland Line. This is that's where this train needs to be run. It's fun. There we go. Very nice. Yes, West Highland Line. Uh, what else have we got? The Kyle of was it the Kyle of Loch 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 Ash Line or something like that from Just Trains. Run this all the way from was it Aberdeen to Inverness that line I think or something like no it's no it's not Inverness to. Kyle of Lockhart, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. I don't know my Scottish routes uh, very well, but I would like to drive the 68 on them because it's a fun train to drive. Speak of the devil, we've got another 68 coming up. What's this one? Uh, let's have a look. We've got. Ah, you're, you're actually six. <gasps> Two darings. Look at that. It's very nice. Very nice. I don't, I don't know if I doubt I'll get a good screenshot here. I can try. I can try. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's a screenshot and a half. Looks like we're just pushing and pulling at the same time. I think that's that's amazing. There we go. Passing by. That's cool. Right. How are we doing? 99 miles an hour. That's what it's just gunning it along. It's just we're just we're just motoring along the tracks. We are we are just motoring along the tracks indeed. There we go. It is a very nicely modelled locomotive. That has to be said. The modelling on this. I mean, the lights as well. Just, just the 68 in general. You know, people say it's ugly and blah 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 blah. blah. You know, but look how fancy those lights look. If Daisy from Thomas the Tank Engine was a locomotive and not a bubble car, she would be a 68. Just with those lights, that you can almost imagine the eyelashes on these. They're those sorts of lights. You know, it's a very, very nicely designed locomotive. Vosla did well. I like the UK light. Um, so there we go. I, I, I do like it indeed. There is... Oh, there's a station. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Right, all the brakes. Now, the brakes aren't terrible in this case. I've just forgotten there's a stop. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, no, 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 no. 76. I'm going way too fast. I'm going way, 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 way too fast. Ah, come on. Bit more brakes. Full service. I'm full servicing the brakes. I'm entering at 55 miles an hour. Oh, God. Sorry, folks. I might not make... Oh, God. He needed to get somewhere. He's an engineering guy. Uh-oh. Well, you know. You know what they say. You know, when in Nebworth, do as Train Sim Live would do. Oh, dear. Task failed. Remember, you can always head over to camp. Yeah, I know. I failed that. Whatever. Whatever. Right, get off the brakes. Off the brakes. Off the brakes. Notch back up. Okay, well... Um... Right. What is it with me and hauling Mark IIs and being so bad at it? I did that with the 47 as well. I was just too busy talking about the 68. I completely... People tell me that I shouldn't get distracted. All I say to you who say that, if you've commented that already... Listen to the me. Do what I'm doing, and do what Trains in Live is doing, and talking at the same time as driving, and then tell us not to get distracted. Okay? If I was a silent YouTuber, if I just uploaded this without any voice whatsoever, I would have aced that stop, because I'm not focusing on talking. There's a reason why there's only one person usually in the cab of a train. It's because if the driver gets distracted, bad stuff can happen. Like missing a stop, or going through a red signal and crashing into the back of another train. That's why it doesn't happen, and that is why... Uh, it, the thing is, this is why I drive so badly. Because I'm talking, uh, and it's distracting. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. I've got to make sure that the audio's okay. I've got to make sure that everything's still recording. I've got to play the game, which is on the low priority list by the time I've got to think about talking as well. So, um, it's very difficult, and only, only content creators will understand. Be a content creator and understand. There we go. Moving on. Let's not try and miss Polmont, shall we? Oh, dear. I'm sorry! I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm, uh, This is sort of the looking over your shoulder sort of camera, just sort of, no. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, folks. Hopefully none of you wanted to get off there. I don't know. Folks of Scotland, tell me, would anybody want to get off there? I don't know if it was if it was something like say if I spatted if I not spatted no Nebworth Chatham I'd be like ah that's probably not a bad thing but with this I don't know because I've never been to Scotland so let me know there we go I shouldn't be allowed to drive trains well I should I should be allowed to drive trains I can drive trains I've proven this uh, in my own time um, but I also have, yeah I can I can drive trains I can drive trains. And I'm not talking, which you're not supposed to do, but this is this is a YouTube channel and it's a simulator. It doesn't have to be I don't have to play it one hundred percent realistic. If I wanted to, I'd be silent. And that would be boring. So there we go. Imagine it cause it, it, you know, it'd just be like, you know, it'd be going And nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. You know, just well obviously some people do. There are some fantastic trains and YouTubers out there who don't say a word. Um, you know, it's good to sort of show off the route sometimes, but you know, I like the banter. I like the banter of talking, and if I screw it up, I don't care. Speaking of which, we're approaching a station and a speed limit, so let's power down, shall we? There we go. Ding! Lovely. Right, so the brakes on this should actually be good, it's just me that's bad. Because um, I've, I've, I've tried braking it before. Well, <laughs> braking it, that could be used in two different ways. Uh, it could be indeed. Let's put a bit of brake on. Just to bring us down for that 90. Just to bring us down for the 90. That's it. Alright, off the brakes. I'm going to say 0 0.7 is when we're going to start braking. Around 0 0.7. That's it. 0 0.7. There we go. Let's just start bringing all the speed off. There we go. Hopefully, that'll be okay. 78. Uh, look, we're, going, we're slowing down a lot better last than we were last time. This is like, this is going a lot better. Oh yeah, this is what this is what we're talking about. We're going to be at 55 well before the platform. That's fun. All right, bit more. That's it. That's as far as I'm going. That is full service. Let's come back a little bit. There we go. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. See, when you when you plan ahead, the brakes are fine. Now I'm going just about the right speed to come and stop here. 35 miles an hour at this distance is absolutely fine. There you go. The brakes aren't bad. They're just... You need to know how to use them. That's all. It's just like the 66 and the 67. And 7. Most modern locomotives have this braking system. It's just got to get used to it. That's all. There we go. Now, I've got to try and fit all the coaches on. That's it. All the coaches are fitting on okay. And we can, should be able to come to a stop here. There we go. And open the doors. We are here... On time, actually. Well, a bit early, a little bit early, but due to the um, due to the slight incident that happened earlier, which we shall never mention again. If you mention it again, then well, I can't stop you. But there we go. There we go. I do like I do like the 68. There we go. Scott Rail, very nice livery as well. Or livery, you know, very nice logo and livery. Except they're they're striking as well as as well as Southern, aren't they? Everybody's striking. Don't strike. It's like Southern drivers striking because of guards and 12-car trains and stuff. I'd quite happily drive a 12-car train without a guard. Let me have let me have a train driver job. I'd I'd you know, I'd just I'd cut back on the amount of videos I do. Go to go to train driving school. I'd learn how to drive a train. I'd do that. You know, let me drive a train. <laughs> Get rid of the drivers that don't want to drive a 12-car train. Let me do it. I'll happily do it. Cuz the you know, keeping the it's it's just change of the times, isn't it? We need 12 car trains, so, and the thing is, we need 12 car trains, but, you know, and if, if we can get rid of guards, is that, is that necessarily a bad thing? I'd drive a train without a guard, I don't care, especially like Gatwick Express and stuff, it's only one stop, <laughs> you know, and pushing, shutting the doors isn't any different, you've just got to look at your extra screen, it's nothing difficult, in my opinion, um, I, um, this is I'm, I'm, I said I said this in the last video as well about a day out I had and I'm going to tease it a little bit more here. This isn't the video for it, but I'm going to tease it a little bit more anyway. Um, I've sat in the cab of a proper one million pound train simulator. You know the one that trains dr they used to train drivers, and it's great. It was it was it was an Electro Star cab. If you've seen my photos on Twitter, you now know a lot more about what's going on. But um, yes, it's just. It was it was an Electro Star cab, and the screens were there, and I looked at them, and I thought, if there were 12 pictures on here with people getting on, 
doesn't really make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. That's all. That's all. Because it's just it's just the way it is. Twelve car trains. Embrace the future. That's all I say. Yes, there we go. There we go. Right, let's just move on, shall we? Let's just move on indeed. There we go. Found Kirk High in 3.13 .3 miles. There we go. Look at that. That is awesome. Speaking of 313, when that ever releases, because uh, wagons have handed it over to AP now, so they say, which means that all the sounds and scenarios are being done, and it's that's like the final step to f f for a wagons product being released is having it sent off to AP. So I cannot wait to drive the 313. We're gonna have so much fun with that. You will not believe it. It's gonna be so good. Gonna be so good. It's just gonna be. Day, you know, for just just three one threes for days, and I'm mostly going to focus on the BR and the NSE liveries because they're the best. We all know this to be true. We all know this to be true. That's what I shall focus on the most. And um, so there we go, three one three. That should be good. And obviously, their thumpers should be coming along. So Geordie's thumper, uh, which works for AP, it should be good. Actually, it should be. Let's power up here. Full notches. There we go. It should be good. I'm looking forward to it. Got like got like a good old thumper. Uh, if it's anything like the 456 style, I won't be able to run any of the scenarios, which suck. Literally, I can r I can put my computer down to the lowest settings. The lowest minimum settings, as low as you can get. And I can't run the scenarios that come with the AP456. It's impossible. There's just so much AI going on, and it's the South London network. It's a very busy, resource-intensive route. I can't even attempt to run it. It's just a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. So there we go. Hopefully, so yeah, if I do look at the thumper, it will be in quick drive slash the free roam with very little AI so the game doesn't crash. So there we go, that's fun. 95. Might not get up to that because Falkirk is literally there. It's not, it's Falkirk, isn't it? Is it Falkirk? It's not Falkirk. It can't. It just, I could, I'm just assuming that I'm saying these wrong because I just probably am. It's probably just the way it is. Let's take a look at this train here. 18. Okay, 18 it is. Eight, look at that. Look how bright that yellow is with my train shining upon it. That's actually really cool. The driver's just being all ghosted out there like, Oh my god, that is so bright. That is so bright. And mine's being lit up in almost exactly the same way. Let's take a screenshot of my train too. 8 and 18s. There we go. Look at that beautiful train. Just taking a moment just to, just to reel in the experience that is the 68. We're going very slowly. I'm going to say it now. I'm going to say it now indeed. Let's try and get a nice... Oh, look at that. That's just nice. That's just nice indeed. There we go. Very nice. Right. Brakes. Oh, not brakes. Not, not not brakes off. No, brakes on, I think. That's it. Brakes on. Because we are going downhill. There we go. All the brakes. Lovely stuff. And uh, below of the horn. There's a lot. Seems to be a lot of soundproofing in here. Uh, so that's fun. Speed's coming down nicely. Yeah, there's a lot of soundproofing, it appears, in here. Because I'm blowing the horn and it's very, very quiet. Very, very quiet. There we go. So that's fun. Yeah, I don't know why that sort of cut out. It worked at the beginning, but it doesn't now. So that's fun. Speed is coming down nicely. Nicely enough. Anyway, it was downhill, so it was a bit of a struggle. But that's fine. And we're just, look, we're just coasting it. Yeah, at 35. We're just acing it now. I missed the first one because I wasn't paying attention enough. And now I am a little bit more. But you notice I'm not talking, I'm not looking around the cab as much as I approach a station. I'm not doing this as much, that as much. It's just, it's a balancing trick. And it, it, nine times out of ten, you get it wrong. So that's fun. It's just because just cause something will grab your attention, something funny will happen, or anything like that. And then it's just ruined. It's just ruined for the day. As proven by the first few minutes of this video. So that's fun. All right. All the brakes, full service. It doesn't really matter if the loco hangs off because the coach is barely fit on anyway. There we go, and doors. This is Falker Kai. Change here for the platform that takes you back in the other direction. There we go. Right. Lovely stuff. Very interested to see one of the, um, what is this, the BSK? I think it's a BSK, isn't it? Very interested to see this in the middle of a contest and not at the back. Normally, you have the brake bit at the back, but it's not. It's in the middle. It's very odd. And that is prototypical. I've, I've seen photographs it is that and videos. It, 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 that coach is in the middle. It's very odd. It's very odd indeed, but there we go. Right, are we getting ready to depart? 
Ready to depart indeed. Oh, listen to that. That just sounds amazing. Lovely stuff. Come on. Let's get going, folks. Let's get going and ready to depart, shall we? Let's do it indeed. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. It's absolutely tipping it down, isn't it? Weather just sucks, you know. Whether or not you like that or not. <laughs> but, um, and... I think you'll find. There we go. Look at that. That's a shot and a half of the 68. Lovely stuff. Come on, passengers. Get on the train. I know I was here early. You can't really blame me for that one. There we go. A glass of water because it is literally boiling. Uh, I felt... I'm going to have to play the scenario again to get that. What I might do, actually... What I might do... I'm going to do this. I'm... Before I edit this video, I'm going to play this again without talking. And I'm going to speed up the footage and we'll see what score I get at the end. I'm going to do that. If I don't do that, I'll have it as a link on another video. It'll be an unlisted video and you can click on it and see the difference if I don't have time to do it. But I want to see if I can show the difference. Because at the moment, I failed this scenario. No matter what I do now, I will get zero points for it. So I will play it again, speed the footage up and we'll see how I do. We'll stay in the cab, footage will be sped up, I won't talk, I'll just sit here record the footage and we'll see how I do. I think that is a good plan. Just to try and prove the point I've been making over this video and the last few where I've been not driving very well because <laughs> it's a regular theme. It's a regular theme indeed. I mean hell, just the chat and mainline one. I didn't do very well on that. I nearly completely missed the station. I stopped by about one coach if that. So um, yes, but I played it again and I aced the scenario. Uh, I absolutely aced it. So it's just, you know, it's it's the way it is. It's the way it is. So I might do that. See how it goes. And yeah, I'll, yeah. but I'll, I'll try and get that footage in. At the end of this one, all sped up. Just so you can see what it's like. So there we go. There we go, indeed. And another mo another point for us. Let's break off. Power up. That's it. Notch two, just to get the trainer rolling. That's it. Listen to that. Listen to that! There we go. Got the fans spinning there in front of the grill. Got the exhaust just pumping out. This is one of the most efficient locomotives of this age. It really is. What is it? It's compliant with like all sorts of modern European emission standards. It's just it can it can really you know get you go get you going places at a low cost. Sort of you know. I imagine the I imagine the emissions per seat mileage thing, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the terminology. It's probably pretty low. Uh, for this train, it's it's, ama it's amazing how efficient this thing is. Was it a Caterpillar engine? Something like that. Something like that. I've no idea. Caterpillar engine, ABB traction, I think. So you know, very 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 familiar traction. ABB traction, of course, being part of the um, 465 networkers or some of them, anyways. That's fun. I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm pretty sure it's ABB traction. A lot of modern trains are. ABB is still around as a private company and stuff. I think so. I don't know. I'm saying these things. They may not be true, but I'm going to say them anyway, because I need to say something. I can't just go, and this is a thing. And this is also a thing. And maybe that's the thing to... I can't do that. I just got to, want to keep on talking, you know. Keep the banter rolling. Keep the banter rolling. Literally dancing in my chair. Probably shouldn't do that. There we go. <laughs> probably shouldn't dance around in my chair. Thing probably caused problems. That's fun. For the chair and me, if I fall off the chair, that's just you know. I think I think me falling off the chair is more of a pressing matter. Or if I fall to the left, I'll fall onto my bed. That'll be fine. Just fall asleep. Fall asleep. That's when you need the DSD on. So you fall asleep at the wheel of a train. Technically, there's no wheel here, but shh, whatever. Yes, that's fun. That's fun indeed. But yes, there we go. There we go. Um, oh, there's a big spab button there. I don't want that to light up. Hopefully, it won't. TP, look, TPWS 2. It's like the next version of TPWS. Is that what that is? That's seriously what that is. That's amazing if so. Like, you know, TPWS 2.0. That's fun. That's an old building. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Croy is an 8 point... He's got... Please tell me it's pronounced Croy. It's C-R-O-Y. How else can you pronounce that? Surely. Surely. It's just, um... No idea, right, no idea. So what cab views we've got? So we've got look at the screens, which are awesome. This thing also does day guard, so if you have... 
there's a bunch of different parameters for it. I can't remember any of them, but I've read about day guard and stuff like that. If you have the locomotive turned off and just idling, and no, turned off and I no idling and not moving, eventually the engine will turn itself off. But you can cancel it by pushing F3, reset day guard. That's fun. And then it will re reset the system, and then another half an hour, try and shut the engine down, engine down again. It's just the way it's keeping itself efficient. So the locomotive's not sitting around and just burning all the fuel away slowly, very, very slowly. That's fun. So we've got this view. We can look at all the different parameters. Yeah, look at this. 46, 74 running speeds, 46 kilometers. That is definitely updating in real time. Um, that's that's probably saved somewhere, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool indeed. So they've got all the different screens there, which are very good. Shows you what cab you're in, all that jazz. Then we can look up here. Very nice, sort of standing at the door, sort of what one there, standing at this door, which is very nice. SOS. There we go. Plug EG36, whatever the hell that is. That's where you plug your. That's where you plug your iPod in that one, and your extra monitors. There we go. That's where you. That's where you plug your um your laptop in that one there, and then we just sit back here again. That's fun. I do like how this train doesn't go 100 miles an hour. It keeps it just below. And makes life perfect because it means I haven't got to worry about speeding too much on routes that are 100 miles an hour, such as this one. So it's Chilton Mainline, isn't it? Chilton Mainline is just bosh, 100 miles an hour all the way up. Well, apart from places where you've got to stop, like High Wycombe and all that jazz, but it's pretty much just bosh, 100 miles an hour straight up, which is fun. It's fun. I like 100 miles an hour. Moving a ton, moving a ton indeed. I mean, you got to. 100 miles an hour on the London to Brighton as well, as I do on a yearly basis. The race down to London to Brighton. That's what. Race down to London and Brighton. No, the race from London to Brighton. The um, speed record. That's always a fun trip. I love doing those videos. Um, I might do it in a 387 this year, just because they can go 10 miles an hour faster. Because we all know the 377 can do it in a certain amount of time. We know that. That was set. Well, it was 11 years ago this year, it was set, that record. So, when I do that again this year, because I will do it again, I love doing that. It's always great fun to do a speed run of London to Brighton. So, when I do that, what I might do is just um, employ a 387 for traction. Might do. Or the, the 442. Might do the 442. Because they can go 100, 810 miles an hour. They can go faster. Drive quality! Piss off. Not doing anything wrong. What are you lot complaining about? Seriously? I mean, there's no coffees on the tables anymore. They weren't in the first place. That's probably because everyone, everyone's just messing about with me. They've, they've, they've spilt their coffee on the floor just to get just to get me out of my job. That's fun. Right, okay. I don't know what that drive quality was all about. <laughs> I was just sitting there reeling about London to Brighton. There we go. But yes, London to Brighton. I might, I, might, yeah, I might employ a, a faster train to do that because... It'd be fun, it's just to see how quickly you can do it if you really want to try. I mean, obviously, I've done it in the the 395 with Mr. Gamer 75. That was fun. I won't do it in that. That's a bit too fast for a safe, <laughs> safe speed run. As I want, as I, I want to be as safe as I possibly can. So, but you know, it'd be interesting. I, I like doing that. So that, what's that? It's awkwardly, awkwardly, it's September the 11th. I think is the record. So. It's very difficult to put out a video like that on the day when I should put out a remembrance. It's very, very awkward. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do remembrance videos. I don't know. It's I'm, you know, it's just these dates. They just fall on each other. It's so difficult to align everything properly. It really is. There's all sorts of interesting things coming up, isn't it? I mean, like October 6th is like the um, the first official HST service. I better do something special for that. If, if I want to be known as a train channel of any worth whatsoever, um, I'll do something with that. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um, I need to drive. I need to drive some electro, st some like you know, electro proper electro stars, like all the electro stars in one go. You could call it an electro star, make a gala, if you so desire, because they're 15 years old this year. I mean, the, the, the 375s are anyway. They're 15 years old this year. The 375s. It's terrifying. Oh, <laughs> that's halfway through their life. That's just that's just sad. That the I mean, the Electro Stars will probably be replaced by the Aventures, which are their successors, which is what London Overground are getting, the 710s, and also the 345s for Crossrail, and I need to seriously think about stopping. That's it. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. And we're going downhill. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. It's too busy talking again. And we're going downhill. Oh, no. Oh no! I'm going to take a drink of water and just just pretend I'm not seeing anything. I think. Come on, just full ser full service, full service. That's it. Oh no 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 no! I don't do emergency brakes because I'll just lose more points on top of not already making it. Come on, at least one coach make it. 
One coach. Just one coach. Come on. I know I'm terrible. You can all scream at me in the comments if you desired. I, I'm, I can't stop you. I can ban you if you get too rude, but I can't stop you. <laughs> right, there we go. Bugger. Right, okay. Yep. Yeah. Release the brakes. Notch 8. Well, it's not 6 here. It's, let's not pull away too fast. Sorry. Sorry. I hope you didn't like Croy very much. It looks like a bit of a shithole anyway. Right, okay. Let's just move on. Let's just... Right, that's it. Yeah, move on. Okay. See? Not paying attention. I'm too busy. I can't even remember what I was talking about. Uh... Electrostars, that was it, Electrostars, yeah. 15 years old. What else is there? I have no idea. It's the usual specials you've got to do, isn't there? That's fun. I'm just talking about videos I'm planning and doing. Don't take this as I'm actually going to do them. We all know how bad I am at actually getting videos out there. I, I you know, I mean, I might as well have just trashed the video where I said, I'm going to get all Lego Star Wars done by the end of June. <laughs> that didn't work. Um... Also, mega gala, monthly mega galas. I never should have said that because delivering that is just impossible. Um, I've got so many ideas, but they take so long to record. I mean, especially if you're talking like you start. I mean, I've done the, the UK one. That's what hour and twenty minutes, but that's without all the setup of all the scenarios and coupling all the trains together and the custom consists. That takes a lot of time, and doing it for something like America, where you've got even more trains that you can all couple together and then you've got to actually get it into a you know a, a scenario and drive it and it's a long route you know at least in the uk you're sort of limited to about 50 miles on average depending on what you choose germany about the same but america i don't know like specific lamp landmarks on certain routes i don't know where it'd be good to drive from and to so much planning. You can obviously tell I was planning my next one to be American. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. It takes so much planning to do, and it literally take anything. I, mean, I only record at the weekends because we, weeks are busy. Weeks are always busy. You all know what weeks are like. It's never fun to get home. The first thing you want to do when you, want, when you get home on a weekday is just go to bed. Or right, have dinner, go to bed, and watch YouTube, and that's about it. I don't. I'm not. I haven't got the energy that I've got right now to record on a weekday. So I record at the weekends only. So that's two days. I've got two days, and on top of recording it, so you're talking a well over an hour. I mean, this will be close to an hour. It's already coming up on 50 minutes recording time. Take away all the loading screens and stuff. It's just a bit less than that. But you're talking well over an hour. You're talking an hour and a half at least for an American thing, just to show everything off properly and drive a decent length, because uh, they're quite slow. Um, most routes, anyway. So... You take all that into account. Then I've got to edit it. I've got to chop out all the silent. I mean, obviously, the, the Network Southeast Mega Gala was about, what, five or six different, you know, like, 20-minute long things. Something like that. You've got to bring it all together. Bring them all together. And then you've got to render it. And rendering is the most tedious thing a YouTuber ever would have to do. I wouldn't cast myself as a proper YouTuber. It's my, by no means my job. Don't think I'd ever want it to be. I'd like it being a hobby, but um, yeah, it, it takes so much time to render a video. Like a, a f what a fifty-minute video. This video will probably take over two hours to render. Two hours. That's and that because to, to speed it up, I use my graphics cards. That's two hours. I can't do anything else. I can't record and render at the same time. Then you got to upload it, and which, considering YouTube servers, that can take forever. So all in all, let's just wrap this up. Mega Galas are a nightmare project, and um, they won't they won't they won't happen often. They can't. They literally, if I had to, it ta it'd take about two weekends to prepare and record and edit one, and by the time I've done that. That's well, that's lots. I mean, I'll, I'll record this. I'll record Lego Star Wars, and I'll record even more Train Sim just today. Um, but I'd lose. You'd have to have a gap of several. I'm so glad I'm not stopping here. You'd have a gap of many where there's no videos just because I'm preparing for a Mega Gala. I don't have that backlog. I've got this is. I've got no Train Sim backlog at all, and I've got about two or three Lego Star Wars videos. And after that. I've got nothing. I don't have the ability to build up a backlog. I used to. Um, I used to because when I left school, I had all the time in the world. Uh, but I don't anymore. I don't have all the time in the world. So it's just it's just the way it is. Mega galas are very difficult to record. I do hope you understand that. I know you guys want to see them, and I've got such good ideas um, 
for them, stuff like the Electrostar one, which I don't mind telling you about because it is 15 years of them, or the 375 being around. Wouldn't mind a 375, you know, dragging along a 377. I'll gra grab a 379 reskin and all that jazz, you know. I just, it'd just be interesting to do that, but it takes so much time and effort to put together. I haven't got around to doing it yet because I'd have to skip out on so much other content or lo record lots. Because the trouble is, if I recorded tons in one weekend, I'd be so burnt out. I probably wouldn't want to do anything the next weekend anyway. Because I only re say for every for every seven days, I'm only recording two of them or even one. Say because obviously I do have a life as well. I, I do um, you know I I do I do my week and then I record and I do normal stuff at the weekend. So it's all very interesting the way it has to all work out. All very interesting. But Mega Galas, they're one of the trickiest projects I've ever tried to start. I need to s slow down. They're one of the trickiest projects I've ever come across starting. I mean, I suppose it's compar effort-wise, it's comparable to um, crash compilations. And I, I'm sure I'm going to get lots of comments now asking about where they've gone. Uh, I answered that in my 10,000 subscribers special video. But, um, yes, I just... They t but I wasn't. I had all the time in the world. I could push one of those out every couple of months, and I did. Tenth of every other month, and it was a massive project. It was so much work, but I could do it. And I s and um, month monthly mega galas was comparable, or even you know, even more work um, to all that lot. And I but I didn't even have that. But I had even less time to do them in. So. It was an ambitious project and it's proven to be very difficult to do, but I do want to do more of them. I've only done one and they are very interesting videos to record, but I need to get... Because the, the Network Southeast, obviously, I was doing it for the pure thing of I like Network Southeast. But showing... I'm going to start speeding here. But showing off other stuff that I don't know as well, say if I one day did a Union Pacific one, I know nothing about Union Pacific, so that adds in the research side of it, because I don't want to just what I mean, you could say I waffle on anyway, but I don't want to waffle pure faff at you guys, you know, I want to actually know what I'm talking about somewhat in those videos, and working all that out, and getting the research done, and then, you know, planning it, and all that jazz. Time! It's just that there's, there's a lot of time that has to go into them, and I'm going to shut up about it now. Because I've been going on for it, I mean, yeah, I've been going on for about at least, what, seven minutes on those, thereabouts. So I'm going to shut up on those now. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up on those indeed. But at least you guys, at least I've explained it in a video. I can, I can now link people to a video instead of having to answer comments all the time. Because, you know, as much as I don't mind, as much as I, you know, I don't I say don't mind, I enjoy talking to you guys in the comments. It's um, it can be tricky to answer the same comment over and over and over again, so um, mate, I've just I've just thought I'd mention it today. So there we go, there we go. Bit less banter, bit more talky in that section. So I shall I shall rectify it with a screenshot. I'm sure you will all um, forgive me now. There we go. Screenshots are the forgiving thing. They really are. Indeed. I mean, just look at that. You cannot ignore the fact that that looks amazing. Let's get up on the, let's get up a close on the detail, shall we? Oh, <laughs> bit too close! Oh my god, black holes again! Look at the modelling in there. It's very nice. What on earth is that? Devil horns. There we go. Very nice. Now there's a nice downhill gradient here and yellow signals. So I'm going to find a nice little break thing that keeps us where we want to be as we go downhill here. I'm going to take another drink because after all that waffling around, ah, my voice is quite dead. That's fun. It's fun indeed, but we are approaching Queen Street. Just as well, those. <laughs> can you imagine if there was like 15 stops in between there, and I just waffled through all of them? I failed two stops today. That's bad. That's bad. Still speeding up. That's it. Just gotta be careful because there are yellows. We're currently not cleared into the platform, so that's fun. It's fun indeed. Here comes the AWS Rampio. There we go. Lovely stuff. Speed's coming down nicely. There is a 30 limit up there, which is fun. Yeah, look, we're not currently cleared into a platform. We're just cleared into the dead endness of, you know, Glasgow by the looks of things. It's just buffers. Don't want to don't be in buffers. Buffers aren't fun. There we go. Right, that's it. Come on. Even more speed off, please. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> that was close. That was very close. Right. Let's find a good braking thing to keep us around that sort of thing. Catch the AWS again and get those windscreen wipers off now. Is that off? I think it's off. 
Yeah, that seems to be off enough. Bit less break. Just got to play it carefully. Just got to play it carefully. There's a red signal up here. Whilst we await our platform into Queen Street de la Glasgow. So that's fun. And now it's speeding up again. More brakes. Need to approach signals at a slow pace. You do indeed. Ideally, less than what I'm going at now. Oh god, all the rain's running forward. And you know what I said less than, less than now? Yeah, I was going too fast. I, should, I was going about two miles now too fast. And now the emergency brakes are kicked in. TPWS. Why must you screw me over? I literally saw the ramps. I thought I should break now, and I didn't break enough. And now I've lost. At least I've stopped for the red. Now the rain's run forward. Oh, let's get that. Let's get the windscreen wipers back on. Get the brakes off. I can't even see now. I can't see a thing. There we go. Brakes off. Brakes off. Brakes off. Brakes off. Brakes off. Forwards. And run a one in fifty. We'll just coast. Down to the red. Hopefully it will change by the time we get there. Ah, not, 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 I've got on a nice intermittent setting now. Just And... Very nice. Just rolling our way to the signal. Hopefully it will change by the time we get there. Uh, unless, of course, I can call on. I don't think so. There's no little white lights, is there? No, I don't have white lights. I can't call on to the platform. Or well, is this calling on, isn't it? That's what it's called. Evidently enough. Right. Start braking again. So yeah, TPWS, if you approach a red signal at faster than 20 miles an hour by the time you go over the ramp, you, your emergency brakes come on. And that's what happened there, because I'm terrible at driving. Right. There we go. Let's just come to a stop here. That's it. I'll get the, I'll get the windscreen wipers back off in a second. Alright, there we go. Just There we go. Windscreen wipers off. And wait here for the signal to change to a more favourable colour. Be it yellow and or green. Yellow and green. <laughs> let's not get in. Let's not get into like you know because German signals are yellow and green at the same time, aren't they? It's like no, no thanks. And now we wait. It's probably because I've missed two stops. I'm probably here ridiculously early, as you can see. My arrival time is 08:24. I'm here at 08:20. So uh, how are you guys doing? Are you all uh, are we all just chilling out nicely back here? Are we all good folks? All how many are you now after the YouTube purge? It was nearly 12,000, but the YouTube purge brought it back down again, didn't it? Lost about 400 people, even though it was inactive and spam accounts, as, as YouTube was saying. But it could have been some real accounts as well. But, um, so make sure, <laughs> check your favourite YouTubers, you might not be subbed to them anymore. Um, yes, so that's that. Well, so how, are you guys, how are you guys doing, you 11,000? Was it, what is it? I've no idea. Absolutely no idea. But it's over 11,000 of you, and it's just amazing. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I mean, you would you would overflow this train. You really would. You really would. So just, just thank you guys for supporting me in this hobby. It's a fun hobby. It's a fun hobby indeed. Just, you know, recording the banter. There we go. Who are we waiting for? Is that 14? Yeah, we're waiting for 14. Okay. Okay. Obviously, 14 would be in the Chilton livery, I think. Or the DRS one. Or one of the others. But um, if if DRS or Chilton have said they don't want their liveries in train sim either at all or at the moment, then you gotta you gotta respect that. You got you know you just you gotta. It's just the way it is. I mean you know re free reskins you can do what you want, but as a, as a company I'm assuming you'd have to respect that. So there we go. Because you wouldn't want just you. There we go. You wouldn't want to just nick someone's thing. I mean obviously how would you feel if you put you know time and money into creating something like a livery or a logo and then all you f five minutes down the line the first thing somebody does to it is to take it and uses it on their program that's what that's the, that's the way I look at it that's the way I look at it so like Southwest trains for example everything's unbranded um, or just non-existent these days you can't you know no one's making any Southwest trains content not officially anyway it's a 15 there oh dear okay and it's raining again that's this. Today's not going well. I'm still throttling up. Oh no, I'm not. I'm, I'm doing the opposite of throttling up. There we go. Off the brakes. Off the brakes. Off the brakes. Coming nice and slow. There we go. Yeah. So it's the way I look at it. I wouldn't want to. It's the same in regards to if I made a video. Um, obviously, with in terms of licensing, it covers me using the ScotRail license and stuff in and branding in this video. It covers all that sort of stuff. But if I made something. And then, like a YouTube video, and then someone took it and uploaded it, and that has happened to me before. Yes, I've somebody, th whoever that was, whoever uh, raised that with me, someone stole my videos. Thank you, thank you for raising that with me. I um, I got that sorted out. So thank you very much. Um, 
But yes, I have had someone steal my videos. It's, it's you know, I'm assuming that. That's that I'm assuming. I shouldn't. You re shouldn't really assume. Makes an ass out of you and me. But it would, to me, annoy. And it would annoy me, in the same way I think it would quite potentially annoy a um, a train operator if the first thing someone does with their license is take it and go, we're gonna use this for our own benefit. So that's the that's the way I see licensing. Is if it's, if a livery's not in train sim. Not officially in train sim, say like, and by officially I mean, oh listen to that. That's cool. If it's not officially, so, so if, if Dovetail released this and they haven't done it in Chilton, that's potentially because Chilton have said we don't want you doing that. And that's fair enough. They're within, every, you know, Chilton would be within every right to say that. Same as if someone came up to me and say, can I use your video on this? You know, I'd still say no, but at least they asked permission and I said no. At least they didn't just take it. So um, the fact that yeah the the fact that there's no Chilton at the moment not officially it's um it's it's in respect to Chilton I would I would presume so I don't mind I don't mind at all by the horn again <laughs> so that's that's my that's my little that's my little story on licensing I suppose just let it let it be if you know you can't you can't automatically say that task failed yeah I know yeah I did bad I got 370 though so I got APT sort of points I could have said. Do, 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 do. Plat platform something for the service to Edinburgh. There we go. Yeah, so, yeah, licensing, you know, just let it be. It's just, it's the way it is. Respect the fact that it's just a thing and that you wouldn't want something nicked from you. That's all I'm going to say on that matter. Uh, the six that was an odd video, wasn't it? Um, I'm going to sign off now, but there should be some footage of me driving this again without talking sped up. I don't know how long it'll be, but you'll probably see this video is nowhere near ended. Or if it is, there'll be a link to the to a, a separate video which contains that footage. Uh, it depends on which way I decide to do it in the editing process. But I'm going to leave that one there. So thank you very much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.
Oh no, not troops, not troops, not troops. Go away, troops. Oh, he jumped in it. I built that, you bastard. Get out, get out. Come on, that's not fair. Ow, ow, I've been flattened. Right, and I've got to try and take him down. And I've got one heart, that's fun. And I've got zero hearts, that's even less fun. Right, 